by special request we are now doing our second video with the tier lists now we're on Langrisser 2 and all 17 of its phenomenal characters now I will say that the first tier list I made it was my most interacted with video to date it wasn't top viewed but I have never seen more thumbs down in any of my videos actually right now it's at a 50 50 split so clearly a very divisive topic but I love the controversy so when you inevitably disagree with me feel free to write in the comments what I got wrong and why your waifu or husbando is way better than mine and we'll hash it out I'm gonna run over the rules and the criteria and the tiers real quick first we have waifu for laifu second is side chick third is only if I'm lonely and last and absolutely deservedly to be least is Pierre because Pierre sucks now the criteria it's whatever I feel like I'm gonna talk about the intangibles the first thing that comes to mind it is a gut check this video was done in one recording I'm not gonna be doing any editing this is raw unfiltered tomfoolery okay that's a lie I'll do a little bit of editing because I have to put background music in because nobody wants to listen to me the whole time now once I go through each of the games we're gonna have one waifu out of each game and then at the very end we're gonna have a competition and it's gonna be a head-to-head -to, -head to determine who is the ultimate languisher mobile waifu up until this date now if new characters do come out that just means future opportunity for more videos all right, so let's get started with the lads and ladies of Langrisser 2. And first up, we have the one, the only, A.A. Ron. Now, Aaron, pretty solid tank, pretty decent R unit. Reliable. He can hold a fortress on his own, but wrinkly balls. So, Pierre. Next, we have the OG of OGs, the Big Daddy Bernhardt. He was honestly one of the characters I wanted the most when I started playing Langrisser, and obviously he was one of the best in Season 1. I still think he's a serviceable unit, but he's kind of lost a little bit of the appeal, but let's be honest, daddies never lose their appeal. Side chick it is. Now apparently, when I did the Langrisser lore video and called her Cherry, I was wrong. The correct pronunciation is Sherry, but I don't care. Cherry it is. So the question is... Side chick, only if I'm lonely or Pierre. Definitely not Pierre. I'd say above only if I'm lonely, but not quite waifu yet. There's still going to be a competition. All right, Egbert. Sorry. The robes and the magic are cool. Those milky whites, not doing it for me. Elwyn. Now, this is going to be controversial. I don't like the main characters in most games I think they're boring and I think they're filler they're supposed to kind of be empty so that you can step into their shoes and so Elwin's personality is a little bland if I'm being honest and if we look at his decision making it's terrible so Elwin, you're going in only if I'm lonely because you're not quite this tier ugly like you're not bad to look at but you're kind of boring now Hein Hein Oh, baby Hein. So, Hein has the sweet, sweet benefit of being both a mage and a princess. So, no matter which way you swing, which matter, no matter which team you play for, or even if you're not on a team at all, Hein's got something for you. So, he's landing squarely inside chick category and is definitely in competition for that waifu. I would put him above cherry not sherry because that's stupid mm, these two can battle it out later it depends on uh on what kind of guy you like i suppose now imelda yeah imelda that's without question going probably here for me i mean the whips the chains the ratios that's some good stuff layered he's loyal but he's boring Keith I honestly like to forget that Keith's in the game 
Like, I get really confused sometimes when I pull him and I can't remember what his name is. And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> I've never once used him on a single map. Not even, like, for fun or to see what he does. Just have never touched that character. No point whatsoever. So Pierre tier. I would put him above Egbert, but not above Aaron. That seems about right. All right, now, Lana. The first of the twins. So they say the good things come in pairs. But honestly, I like her aesthetic. I like her character. She's very useful in game. I'm gonna put her in side chick, but on the lower end. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna put her above Cherry. Leon, that's not even a question. Leon's going here. Lester, pirate daddy. Uh, here, that feels about right. Love the aesthetic, you get a boat. He's a pretty good hooker. But he doesn't leave much on the table. Now this one, again, people are going to be mad at me. I like Leanna more in-game than Lana, but as a personality, I like Leanna more. Or sorry, Lana more. I've kind of mixed those up all day. So Leanna going squarely, only if I'm lonely, ahead of Elwyn. Roga. I don't know about you guys, but when I roll, there's always one champion that tricks me. And I think it's going to be an SSR. That champion's Roga. And just because of that, Pierre tier. Below Egbert. That's right. I would rather have those milky white eyes than the false hope of getting an SSR. Any day. Any day. He used to trick me. I used to think it was Bernhardt every freaking time. And it never was. It took me forever to get Bernhardt. Scott. He's a cool cavalry unit when you first get him. I don't think he's anything special. Uh, going below Laird. Sonya. See, she is probably top three for me in this game. It's a tight competition up at the top, but she's going to be in that side chick category. Half demon, all kinds of fun, doesn't really believe in clothing. A little rough around the edges, but that'll buff out. And now Vargas. Vargas, Vargas, Vargas. See, a lot of people like Vargas, but the issue that I have is that I too am big and bald. So it would kind of be like being with myself. And frankly, one of me is already too many. So I feel like another one of me is just a bad idea. But he's still daddy mode. So I'm going to place him here. That feels about right. Now, I'm sure that one people are not going to like. They're going to say, no, Vargas is the best male character. Look. I'm already sick of being big and bald. I don't need more big and bald in my life. Alright, so now, the big decision. Who is the winner? There are way more to choose from in this game. Because overall, I think this game was great. Just the characters are amazing. So now we're going to do pros and cons of each one. Amelda, she's got all that ferocity and all those looks. She's just an all-around character but you may want to knock some points off for domineering personality i feel like that's fun but could get old bernhardt speaking of old oldie but a goodie not quite wrinkly ball status but also how long until he hits wrinkly ball status and he never could unify the people so that's just not unifying my love Leon, I feel like if you got a haircut, I'm not a big fan of the uh, the My Chemical Romance look. Like either dye it black or find a new favorite band. Hein. Now, this I think is the hardest one 
Because if we're talking Princess Hine, that's pretty dope. Regular Hine, kind of bland. But Princess Hine can't get pregnant. But I feel like that is perfect side chick material right there. So not quite waifu. But definitely, I'm. If we're talking Princess Hine, Princess Hine's going up here. Cause like there's there's no consequences, none whatsoever. That's what I'm talking about. Now Lana, I like her, but there's there's two of her. I mean, it, it's not unique. She's got that bad personality, and bad by bad I mean good. I hate the English language sometimes. I just, I can't put her up there. Lester, again, definitely deserves side chick status because he's roguishly handsome and he's a pirate. I mean, how are you not putting a pirate up there? But I can't elevate him. Cherry, I don't know, man, that neck is killing me. Just the worst chicken neck in the entire game and I can't unsee it. She's a great character with fantastic art, but I can't unsee that neck. Oh, God. So she's definitely, she can't go up there. And Sonya, so, okay. My top three. Actually, I can narrow it to two. So toss-up is Imelda versus Sonya. So both of them have a bad personality. And that they're both domineering. Sonya's, I feel like, is more lack of exposure to people that she likes. So there's a chance for improvement there. And Melda's just domineering. So it really comes down to way too much information about what I prefer in the bedroom. Huh. <sighs> and honestly, at the end of the day. I'm gonna have to go with Imelda because she's a female pirate. So she gets extra points for being a female pirate. So all right, this is my list, the finalized list. Lads and ladies, Langris are two. Right now, the winner is Imelda and Hine is definitely the top side chick because there's zero repercussions there. All right, so let me know in the comments below what you think. Next up, we're gonna be doing the Langris are three characters which is an even bigger list of characters to go through so that is going to be an epically long video i hope you enjoyed this let me know what i got right what i got wrong in the comment section below don't forget to follow me on twitter check out my patreon and i will see you next time